it's it's still hot oh my gosh oh my gosh the most valuable lesson that you can learn in wildlife photography is What's going on guys, it's Ryle with Ryle's Amazing Photography and today I'm back doing some wildlife photography. Um, I'm out here in this blind. It's extremely hot outside, it's in the 90s. Um, I'm very sweaty. Um, it's very, it's extremely hot and especially the fact this blind is black. It kind of absorbs heat more. Um, I hope you all are having a great day. Um, I hear a lot of birds out. I think birds is probably going to be the thing that we see the most at this pond. I just set this pond up. If you follow me on Instagram at Rollins Amazing Photography, you've seen me um, getting ready to come and set it up. And here I am. Here we are. Um, it's it's still hot. It's it's going to be a hot video. Um, I don't have any water. I'm going to have to start bringing water now that it's summer. Um, it's a lot more green. Um, on my way here, I seen what I think was a groundhog, um, but it ran away from me, so I didn't really get a um, shot or video or anything of it. Um, as soon as it seen me, it took off, and it was bigger, so I think that's what it was. Um, in today's video, our primary focus is going to be birds. Um, I'm by a creek with a tree line, and then it's an open field behind us here, and then it's just kind of grass on these two sides of me. So... We're gonna wait and we're gonna be patient. Um, if you guys like photography, definitely make sure that you subscribe to the channel and go ahead and go down below and like today's video as well. That would help me out a whole lot. Um, so, let's go ahead and see what we're gonna find. There's a cardinal that's currently out. I got some photos of it and some video as well, just a brief video. Um, there's also some other bird that I didn't recognize um, that landed on a vine for a short second and then flew off. I didn't get any photos of it, just a brief video. I didn't recognize the bird. Maybe it will come back and then I can get a photo of it. And if it does, hopefully I can have the name on your screens. Um, if it doesn't, that's okay. Um, the photos that we've been getting of this cardinal have been pretty good. Um, nothing that's really a showstopper like I'm hoping to get. But we've just got to be patient. And even though I'm likely to have a heat stroke, it's fine. Just, just, um, I can't stay out here too long or I'll get dehydrated. If, if you enjoy watching me be hot, I mean, come on, I'm naturally hot. I mean, look at me. Girls are all over me. <laughs> Can I cut that? Yeah, um, I'm just waiting for birds at this point. Hopefully I'll have some more unique birds. I know there are scarlet tanagers that are usually around here. Um, and some blue buntings and blue grosbeaks. There's a bunch of different summer birds that I'm just now getting to see that I haven't ever really captured some po photographs of before. And I'm, I'm still dripping sweat. Sweat is literally dripping off my legs into my boots. And I'm going to have like a puddle in my boot by the time I'm done here. Um, so we just got I, we just got to stay hopeful. I mean, that's all we can do at this point. It's literally just too hot out here right now to stay in that blind. So whether it be Tomorrow, or later tonight, I'll, I'll find another time to come back and finish filming. Because I, I can't stand there any longer. I'm about to, I'm, I'm literally going to die. It's so hot. Um, so, I'll be back in there, or in another blind, eventually. Um, actually, in the next clip, obviously. So, you'll see me there right now. your favorite photographer back in the blind maybe I'm not your favorite photographer it's okay um, today it's a oh my goodness 
today it is a lot cooler than what it has been for the past few days um, and I swear every time I get in this blind it's smaller so either I'm getting fatter or I just I'm just not very good at setting up this blind and it could be a combination of both I'm not gonna lie um, so I'm gonna quiet down <laughs> and we'll see if some birds or some wild animals will come out I mean obviously they're wild it's wildlife photographer um, anyways Let's see what comes out. I'm, I'm feeling, this, I feel so like extra, extra corny today. Is, if that's a word, that's what I feel. Okay, let's, I'm gonna shut up now. Let me tell you, I've had the worst luck filming this entire video. I've been sitting in here for roughly an hour and well, I haven't seen one bird and when I first got here I was hearing some chirping now I'm not even hearing any chirping it's just a whole rough time so I'm gonna go and take somewhat of a break yet again and then I'll probably come back to this blind later this evening and if it's still not working out I'm gonna go to a different blind or I'm just going to walk around and look for birds and wildlife it's I've, I've never had this bad of luck Yesterday it was too hot and I wasn't having very good luck. Today I'm just not having any luck at all. And usually this is a decently popular spot for birds. So, um, another cut scene. <laughs> um, I'll see you all later tonight. I am now just kind of walking around, seeing what we can find. Um, I'll probably end up in a blind yet again. Um, uh, something that I like. So I always use as a rule of thumb is if your shadow is longer than you, you've got good light for photography. So right now is really um, good light for photography because my shadow is pretty long. We're not into the golden hour phase yet, but once we get there, the birds should be more active and there will be a whole lot better lighting for me to photograph. Um, I'm not guaranteeing you that I'm going to end up in a blind, but it, it's fairly likely that I'm going to end up in a blind yet again before this video is over. Um, although right now I'm just kind of walking around. Um, I seen a yellow bird earlier and I seen a um, brown thrasher. So it, we've gotten better results walking around than we did in the blind. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see. I might or might not go back to the blind. I don't really know yet. I'm just going to keep taking pictures like I always do and we'll go from there. Good light is useless without a subject to photograph. So I'm making my way to the main blind that we're at the most often. Cause I, I, I just can't find anything walking around. So we're gonna have to get stationary. It's about 7.30, I believe. And um, I really need to find some birds or deer, or turkey or something to make this video worthwhile for you all. So, I am trying. Any of you real fans know that we are just about to have an episode of Attack of the Wasps and this camera is extremely close to my face right now. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. Okay. There's no way that I'm going to open all these windows and not have to deal with the wasp. I, I just, I can feel it. Also, my tripod's too high. So, um, I'm going to have to Deal with that. Or deal with that. That's a, ah! That was a big one. I ain't never seen no one that big. Now, I know Kentucky ain't got no murder hornets, but that should look like a murder hornet. Mm mm. Not today. Okay. Look, I'm, I'm a professional. You're a professional. Not a professional. Okay, last window. Last window. Okay. Look. No, 
No, I ain't no, I ain't no chicken. But I'm not gonna be wasp soup today. Or would it be wasp supper? I don't know what it would be. Maybe wasp casserole? Wait, that makes it sound like I'm eating the wasp though. I don't do that, I, I, I don't eat wasp. Okay. Okay. Too many tripods. Okay, well, um, I, I think we're good. I'm just gonna be patient. It's not great light, I'm not gonna lie. This building is stuffier than ever. Um, but, wait, 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 wait. Knock on wood. I haven't seen any wasps yet. I'm exhausted. I'm so tired, it's so hot. I forget how difficult this is when it's hot outside. I'm gonna quieten down. Hopefully, we'll see a deer. That would be that would be ideal, but maybe at least some birds. I don't know. I don't know if y'all can hear that. This hornet. Mm mm. It's waiting on me outside. And I've had enough of this blind. Enough. So here's the plan. I kick open the store, and I take a run for it. Here we go. Wait, it's it's kind of dark. Let me one second. One second. I'm sorry. Sorry. That that's all I can do right now. Okay, here here we go. Oh my gosh, there was. Please, please. Oh, there it is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I know y'all say that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't do no hornet. Mm-mm. That was a big old hornet. What do I do? What do I do? I, I, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna count to three. One, two, three. Oh my God, I'm doing it. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Now we kick the door shut. I didn't shut it. Let's, let's fix y'all's exposure. It's still like... Gosh. So, um, I would hate for you all to think that I'm a total loser. So, after I stopped filming, I went on out and I took some more photos. Because I tend to get better images when I'm not having to focus on video and photos both. So, um, here's those. Also, I'm going to take these glasses off. Um, in a recent video, I can't remember what video it was. Um, I always read all my comments. Sometimes they're not always nice comments. But I do always read them. And so, someone... I had said, did these glasses look stupid or something along the lines of that? And I had like put them up. Someone commented, the glasses aren't stupid, but you are. So, it doesn't really matter, does it? No, <laughs> I'm just playing. All jokes aside. So the reason that you all are here for this video is what is the most valuable lesson to learn in wildlife photography? Well, it's a simple lesson that I've preached multiple times throughout like my career, career, it's not a career, throughout my time on YouTube. I've talked about it multiple times. The most valuable lesson that you can learn in wildlife photography is patience it's as simple as that the most valuable lesson you can ever learn in wildlife photography is patience and i i did not i today in this video i i didn't have patience in fact i had everything but patience i was very antsy in today's video when, when it's hot outside i tend to you know not want to be a stationary because i can get really hot but when i'm moving around i also get really hot so it's it's very kind of difficult to be able to photograph during hot weather during the summer but it didn't stop us from getting out and getting shots um it, it wasn't great there wasn't a lot of wildlife active um when i went around out this evening during golden hour without videoing there was there's quite a few birds but it still wasn't any fantastic shots of things that you all have never really seen me do before 
Um, but it but it still worked, and we still got some shots. You all might not have seen the behind the scenes of every image that I took, but that's okay because it's about the photos more than the video. As much as I want you all to enjoy the videos, the main thing that I want you all to take away is the photos and how you can improve your photos and really what I do to take those photos. And I feel like you all still get a grip on that even if I don't get the full-on behind-the-scenes clips. So that concludes today's video. I really appreciate you all watching. You all do help me a whole lot. We've been getting so many likes recently, and that, that means the world to me. I mean, for real. It would mean the world to me even more if you would subscribe and hit that notification bell, too. Because if you all subscribe, we're on the road to 1K. We're, we're, we just passed the 450 mark, I think, which is incredible because just last week we were hitting 400 subscribers. So you all have did fantastic. Definitely make sure that you share the videos with your friends. If you watch all of my videos, you have no idea how much that means to me. That means a lot to me. You're the reason I still do this. Um, that That's really all I got for today's video. What was your favorite, favorite image? Leave it down below in the comments. Like I said, and like I say in every video, I hope you guys have an amazing day.